Okay, so we've got use of terminology. The simile is used to, use to compare, create a comparison between two objects or situations that allows the reader to gain a better understanding of his situation or experience. By comparing hailstorms to a military onslaught, it is possible that the reader can understand the violence and intensity of the storm. This allows the writer to better describe the experience to the reader, causing them to have more empathy and become engrossed in the story. Okay, I think what you need to do here, a um, couple of things. So the writer and reader, no. Um, because it's spoken language, it's the speaker to their friend. Um, we're kind of non-existent in this situation. Um, it's quite artificial, I realise. Um, but we need to think about how the speakers are relating to one another only. Um, this is really well written. Um, you've taken it all the way through. I think you need to look at the structure of the paragraph slightly just so that we're not starting out with the terminology. You need to make a point first. OK, so the reader can understand and visualise the intensity of the storm through the speaker's use of the simile. Um, or rather, the audience can understand it, not the reader. Um, yeah, so avoid the reader there. Uh, OK. Um, otherwise, it's written really, really well. So we just need to twist the paragraph structure a little bit so that we're not launching with the terminology, um, but that that is embedded um, in the middle of it. Change it so that we're thinking about speaker and audience and the relationship between them. Um, other than that, this is a very close to um, successful paragraph. Well done.